Hi everyone, today for my demonstration speech, I will be talking about how to overgrip a tennis racket. So did you know that overgrip is the unsung hero of tennis? If so, you might ask, what is overgrip and how do I wrap it around my racket? Well, these are all great questions and you've come to the right place because I will help you answer them today. So whether you play sports or not, you know that like most sports, tennis can get very sweaty. And the last thing that you want is a racket slipping out of your hands as you're going for that match point against your opponent. Now, I've been playing tennis for many years, therefore I have changed my overgrip many times, so I know all the tips and tricks for a fast and easy grip change for your racket. Now, having a good overgrip for your racket makes it easier to main con maintain control and helps the feel of your ball as you're playing your game. Now, you might ask, what is overgrip? Well, overgrip is a soft and padded tape that gets wrapped around the grip of your tennis racket. Now with that, there are two different types of overgrip. There's tacky and there's absorbent. Tacky is better for players who aren't really prone to sweating. So it's in the name, it is a tackier grip and is less absorbent versus on the other hand, the absorbent overgrip is for players who are prone to sweating more and however are less durable, but can control your sweat better. Now the first layer of your grip is called replacement grip or the original grip. Now, this basically is the grip that comes with your racket when you first buy it. So it's directly on the handle and has a great deal of adhesive and is thicker on the handle. Now, overgrip is a softer, thinner uh, wrap with less adhesive. It functions to increase the size of your grip and provides extra absorption. In addition, they are less exp expensive to get and include a variety of different colors. Now that I've explained to you what overgrip is and how it is used, I will show you how to overgrip a tennis racket. Now, some of the materials that you will need is obviously your overgrip. I'm just using this Babolat one. And then scissors, these are optional. And then you will also need a trash can on standby and your tennis racket, obviously. And then patience, that is very important. Now, the first thing you wanna do is see if you have an overgrip on your tennis racket. For this one specifically, it does not. So this is just the replacement grip that came with the racket when it was first bought. As you can see, it's getting very worn down, so it's about time to add an overgrip to it. So what you wanna do first is you can set aside your racket if there's no overgrip. If there is, you wanna just take it off before you start regripping your racket. So next, you will take your overgrip and you just want to unravel the overgrip tape that comes with it. And once you do so, you just want to set this to the side. And then you want to unravel this grip tape. And once you do so, depending on which one you get, there will be a plastic film on top of it. If it does include one, you want to just take this off. Once you do so, you can just set this aside and then you can throw this away in your trash can that is on standby because this is annoying plastic so it can get everywhere. And it just helps to clean up your area. So once you have this unraveled, you wanna make sure whichever overgrip you're using, the tackier side is the side that's facing out. So as you can see, this other side, not very tacky versus this side, shiny and is tackier. So then what you want to do is find the tapered edge of your grip. So as you can see, it's pretty straight throughout. It doesn't have any changes except for up here, which is more tapered and it's skinnier. If you look on the other side, there is this little adhesive tape. So you just want to take this off and then throw it away. And then you want to make sure this is the sticky side and still make sure that the tacky side is facing out. By then, you want to take your racket and on your racket, you have these different straight edges. I know it's not very noticeable on this racket here, but usually I like to just use the straight edge at the top. Uh, really, you can go anywhere on your racket. This is just where I like to do it preferably. So what you want to do is take the overgrip and place it right at the bottom on that straight edge. So it should look like this. And by then, by adding pressure, you want to just tightly roll this around the bottom of your racket. And then once you do so, you want to slowly start moving up. And you want to make sure that you do this tightly so there's no wrinkles or it doesn't bunch up. Because if you don't do it tightly, I'm not really sure if you can see, but it can kind of come loose here and you don't want that. So sometimes it just takes 
you know, redoing it a couple of tries, which is why you need some patience when you do this because it does take time. So once you get it figured out, you want to just slowly bring it up to the top of your racket. And you just want to keep doing this and you want to keep adding pressure and you don't want to rush the process either because then your grip will start to wrinkle and it'll just bunch up and it won't be secured on tightly. So you just want to continue doing this all the way to the top of your racket. So I'm going to keep doing that here. So basically, I would say that the bottom part is the hardest to do just because it is wider at the bottom. So that is totally okay if it takes a couple tries, but usually once you get past the bottom part, it's super easy once you go up from there. So now I am heading to almost the top of the racket. And you'll know you reach the top when you get to this piece of tape. Now that I've made it to the top, you have this extra piece of fabric. Now this part is up to you, but you can either decide to just leave it and just tape it that way it is, or you can take your optional pair of scissors that you had or didn't have, and you can cut a little triangle piece to make this edge tapered that was just like at the bottom. So for me personally, I like to make it a tapered edge just because it makes it look a lot more seamless and cleaner. So that's what we're gonna do here. You wanna make sure when you do it right, that the tacky side is on the racket. So as we can also see, the words are on the outside. So that's how I know I use the right side. And by then I will decide where would be a good cutting spot to make my triangle cut. So I'm probably just gonna do it right about here. So I will take my scissors and just make a triangle or tapered cut. So it looks like this. Set my scissors down. It should look like this. And this doesn't have to be perfect by any means, but once you have that, you just want to wrap it again around the top of your edge without having to go up like you have been. And then once you get that, you want to take the tape that you set aside earlier, and then I will set my racket down, and then you want to take the adhesive off of this side. And then once you have taken the adhesive off, you want to go back to your racket. And then you want to find that tapered edge from earlier that you cut and place the tape right at the end of it. Oops, it got stuck here. Just like that. Once you do so, at this point you're overgrip is secured on and what you want to do is take this tape and just wrap it around the top of your racket to extra secure it in place. Once you do so, this is what the finished product looks like. And for my racket specifically, I have this little rubber piece that can go on top of it just to secure the tape. This isn't needed, but you can have it on your racket. But this is what the finished product looks like once you have overgripped your racket. Now that I have showed you how to overgrip a racket, I will explain some of the benefits of using overgrip. So what are some of these benefits? Well, they provide more control for the player and it adds grip capacity because it's not so thin from just the replacement grip. So the racket doesn't fly all over and it's not moving all over in your hands. And like mentioned before, it helps with controlling sweat. Now, having an overgrip also provides more comfort for the player. It adds more cushioning and it makes the racket less uncomfy to use and it adds to, to make it softer. And it also reduces blisters and hand discomfort. And there's less proning to moving around with overgrip on it. So overall, the more that you play, the more that you will want to change your overgrip. Today, I showed you how to overgrip a racket. And this process demonstrates how an overgrip helps to maintain control and feel so you can help win your match against your opponent. Like learning any new skill, overgripping your racket will take some time. But for avid players, gripping your racket can become second nature. And who knows, maybe you can do it with your eyes closed someday.